Up to fam, it is your coach Chelsea here, and today I want to talk to you about how to get set up for the 21 day fix once you know what plan you're gonna be on. So kind of how to use those crazy containers and fix your meal plan, figure out your grocery list, and get things rolling, all right? So two, figure out your meal plan or what plan you are on. Um, if you check out another video I made about the getting started right guide, you could check out exactly how to do that there. But once you figure out what plan you are in, like for example, I am in plan A from what I found out, the first thing I did was I found out how many containers that I had. So I have three vegetables, two fruit, four protein, two carbs, one healthy fat, two oils and nut butters, and one seeds and oils, according to my plan, all right? So once I had that figured out, the next thing that I did to start to put my meal plan together was I know myself, I am a creature of habit, I will do the same thing over and over every single day and some other people will be out there that will be different and please offer up your opinions on how to do this but this is the easiest way that I found how to for my life. So what I did is I put breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks and then I put all of the containers, they were empty boxes at first, at the bottom. So I had my three vegetables, my two fruit and it matches exactly up with this at the bottom, all right? So then, I just started to plug things into where I wanted them, all right? So for breakfast, I always have a carb and a protein. So I went ahead and put a protein there, and typically for me, that's turkey sausage or turkey bacon. So I put turkey bacon sausage. And then I typically have like it on a muffin, or I have some kind of like pancakes made that are healthy, or just toast. And so I always have a carb there, and then, um, I didn't have this berries thing here yet. I just had these two, and that's what I had for my breakfast. Well, I knew for my lunches I'm going to do Shakeology. Shakeology is always going to be a red, and then you have to count everything that you put into your Shakeology. So I use my orange because I don't eat salad. I use my orange that is, when you look over here, seeds and dressings. I use mine to put sunflower seeds in my Shakeology. So it gives it a great taste. It's really weird, but I like it. And then I put spinach in there because I hide my greens because I don't like them. And then PB2 for my nut butters and my spoons. So I automatically knew I'm going to have Shaco for lunch every day. For dinner, just typical for me, I always have a protein, a carb, and a vegetable. It's just typically what happens, all right? So I went ahead and started to put that in there. And I just put examples of what I could get for each of those containers. And then what I was left with was fruit. So I put a fruit up here for my breakfast. And then fruits are just really easy snacks. So I just always put a fruit down there. I had another spoon for my almond butter. So almond butter is what I love to put on my apples. So that's a nice easy snack to get two of those taken care of. And then I put nuts, cheese, or hummus for blue, and that can be interchanged in other ones. I just put it there because it's where I would recognize it the most. And understand that it was kind of hard for me to figure out where some of these were gonna go. I was like, where can I put another vegetable? And so I can double up for dinner, or I could have some more up here. But this is just a basic outline of what I'm going to eat each day and where my containers are gonna fit in throughout my meals, all right? So that's how I do that. Then once I figure that out, I already have breakfast taken care of. So turkey bacon, some kind of carb, get some berries, shake-o. Dinner is the thing that I struggle with, all right? And that's because dinner ideas don't come naturally to me. I watch the Fixate cooking show, which you have on your Beachbody All Access, and it's full of great ideas for food, and so I love that. Um, but the next thing that I do is I just lay out my weekly dinners because that's the one meal that I struggle with and the one meal that I'm more willing to be like, oh, let's just go out to eat. No, we don't do that. We're gonna stick to the plan, all right? So, next thing I did, I wrote Monday through Sunday down on a piece of paper and I wrote down what I'm gonna have. So, for the first three days of this round of my 21 day fix, I'm gonna be doing the three day refresh. So I wrote my three day refresh meals down and then, I have some leftovers in my fridge that will still be there and still be good. So I'm going to have turkey burgers on Thursday. I have a chicken that's still in the freezer. So I'm going to do grilled chicken and shrimp fajitas on Thursday. On Saturday, 
Um, I didn't know what I was going to do. But on Sunday, I want to have salmon because Sundays are like my relaxation day and they're really... Salmon for me is just really easy to make. We get the Gordons and it's great. Um, but I didn't have anything for Saturday. So I actually went on to teenbeachbody.com and went to the Eat Smart tab and went to recipes. Once you're there, just like in the other video I showed you, you can see that there's breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, side dishes, desserts, and you can click on it. And I actually found a hearty chicken, sweet potato, and apples recipe that I'm going to try out. So I just plugged that in there because I'm going to have leftover chicken from Friday. And so it said it was perfect for leftovers. How great is that? So then I have my meals laid out for the week. After that... I take my lists, my meals for the week, and my lists of what I'm generally going to eat, minus what I have in my fridge, and I made my grocery list. And honestly, guys, this grocery list right here for the three-day refresh and for four days of regular eating, I'm going to say is going to cost me about 30 to $35 for all of this on this list. And that's amazing because a lot of people like to think that eating healthy is so expensive. It's not. It's general. It's honestly just sitting down and planning out your meals and being smart about it. Because if you're smart about it, and I go into the grocery store with this list and this is all I got to get, I'm not wondering if I need something else or what goes with this or when I'm going to eat what. I'm saving money by making a list. So... Fail to plan, you're planning to fail, so go ahead. I hope that was a simple little overview for you on how to do that and how to set up your plan and your grocery list because this took me 15 minutes. And I honestly, I haven't done the 21 day fix in a while, so 15 minutes to like look everything over, see the exact things, figure out my grocery list, and now I'm ready to go. That's amazing, all right? so. I hope this helped. If you have any questions about the 21 day fix or how to figure out your plan or where to find recipes or anything like that, please just let me know and I'd be happy to help. All right. Bye guys. Be your best self today.